hello everyone welcome back to my channel in this channel i upload sewing tutorial pattern drafting and diy so please if you have not subscribed to my channel please subscribe press the notification bell to get notified whenever i upload a new video like and share this video so in today's tutorial we're learning how to make this crossover top as you can see very beautiful you can rock this with jean trouser skirts or any other thing you have so let's get started so i'll be using this pattern paper to draft it out remember the front is a the front is crossover so i need to cut it on the pattern before transfer it before i transfer it so basically what i'll be doing is just to draft out my basic bodies pattern so that is what i'll be doing so on this part i will just measure out our shoulder measurement is 15 divide by 2, I have 11.5, then I add half an inch to it to make it 8, so this is the 8, I'll measure out 1 inch at my starting line, I'll come down here by 1 inch, then on this part I'll measure out 3 inches, then I'll connect it to this point. I'll measure down I'll measure down seven inches from here. Measure out our boss point, the waist and our hip measurement. Our boss point is eleven. Then I'll measure our waist line. I'll be using sixteen. Then the full length of the top. The full length of the top is twenty five inches. But I'll make it 26 inches. I'll be using that, I'll be folding in the one inches. I'll rule it out now. So I'll get the midpoint here. This is 3.5. I'll go in by half an inch to chip to chip the front arm hole. Then I'll connect it. Then I'll place the bust measurement here. Place the bust measurement. I'll be adding one inch for ease and one inch for the sewing. So I'll be adding two inches to it. Then the waistline. The waistline is 39 inches. When you divide it by four, this is what I have. Then I'll be adding extra two inches to it. Then I'll do the same thing for the hip line. I'll measure the hip line into four. I'll divide it into four. Then I will add extra two inches to it. So this is it. I'll connect the lines. I will extend the bust line to this point. I will extend the bust line to this point. So this is what I have. So I will use this pattern to cut out the back before I work on it to cut out the front. So I'll be cutting it out now. Then I'll add one, I'll add half an inch on this part. You see, half an inch for the shoulder joint. So for the back neckline, I will, I will use 1.5 inches, 1.5 inches. Then I will extend the neckline. I don't want to use 3 inches. I will use 4 inches for the neckline. So I will mark out to 4 inches. So I will be using this fabric. So I will place it, I will place it on fold like this to cut out the back then I'll work on it to cut out the front so I'm done cutting out I'll set this aside so this is the back so this is the back but now I'm going to work on the front so I'll open it up then I will extend this line. I will extend the lines as you can see. So the next thing I will just connect this point straight to the waistline. 
for the neckline i'll be using three inches cut out the neckline so i'll open it up then i'll connect it from here to this waistline I'll leave at two inch because this two inch, that's what we'll be placing the belt. Then I'll connect it from here. So this is the middle of the, let me just indicate it. Then I'll connect it from this point to this middle of this. I like it all. So normally, when, after, when you cut out the hip line, I'm supposed to shape this side by either two inches or one inch, as you can see, just to give it a very curvy shape. So I'll be using two inches. And I also, I also adjust the back. I also adjust the side of the back. So I'll connect it like this. So this side looks like, as you can see, from here to this point, then to this side, as you can see. So this is what we have. So I'll be cutting it out like this. So this side looks like, so this part, when I'm cutting it, I'll cut it as a curve. I don't want here to be straight. I'll just cut it as a curve. Then I'll stop on this part. What we have so this is what we have for the front pattern so i'll be placing it like this to cut out the front so if you want if you want yours to be a crop top you can stop at the waist so these two inches that we have here you stop it at the waist if you want it to be a crop top but this is a full blouse so i'll be placing it like this on my fabric to cut out So this is the back. Remember the front, I went up by two inches. So I'll do the same thing for the back. So you can see uh, this is what we have for the front. So this is how the front looks like, as you can see. So first thing I'll be doing, I'll be joining the shoulder together. I will join the shoulder to shoulder. So I'll place it like this, I'll place the shoulder I'll sew the shoulder on this part and also on this side. I'm joining the ham. So I'm just joining the shoulder as you can see. That's the only part we have joined the shoulder. So the next thing we'll be joining is the side. We'll be joining the sides together. Like join the side all the way down. Remember, one of the sides, one of the sides of the dress, there will be an opening. There will be an opening for the bed to pass through it. So I'll be doing that after I've done the general sewing. So now we just sew this part down and sew the other side down. Then you get your fabric for your belt. So what I have here is five inches. Remember, it's the, the space for the belt is two inches. So this is the space for the belt. So what I have here is five inches by the length of fabric you have. So we are using this to create the belt. So this is the fabric for the belt. What I have is five inches by twenty-three inches. Just make use of any fabric of. Just make use of any length, because this is the belt. So I'll fold it like this. I'll fold it like this. Then I'll sew it all the way down. Now I'll leave this part open. I'll do the same thing for this side. So I'm done sewing. This is the belt. So I'll turn it inside out. I'll quickly turn it inside out. So the next thing I'll bring out, I'll bring out the front. Remember, this is where we are supposed to fix the belt. So I'll place the belt like this. I'll place it like this and I'll pin it down. So you can see it, I'll place it like this and pin it down. I'll do the same thing for the other side. Like this, I'll pin it down. So I'll sew it like this. So after sewing that, 
the next thing is to sew the the next thing is to sew all the all the parts of the 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 top from the neckline to the front and to the bottom so i'll be using my bias tape so i'll be using my bias tape to turn the neckline and also the bottom so i'll be sewing it i'll sew it from the bottom through the side this is the side this is the front then the back neckline this is the back neckline then also to this side then all through so if you have a weaving machine it will be easier when you have a weaving machine you just weave it just weave the edge then fold it once like this when after weaving you just fold it once like this but if you don't have a weaving machine that means you have to use a bias tape to turn around all the remaining rough edge so that's what i'll be doing now so i'm done sewing as you can see so on one, on one side of the dress on one side of the dress there's an opening that's that opening is where the bed can we pass through it so you measure out your waist measurement remember i used it 16 inches for the waist so this is the waist measurement measurement so this part i will open up two inches like this so this part that i've sewn i will just lose lose out two inches you can see i'll just lose out two inches so this this space has to be open for the bed to pass through it so the next thing to do is to cut out the sleeve so as you can see it's a free dress it's a free it's a free sleeve so i'll be using the old fabric for the sleeve so i will extend this part so the only thing i'll be doing is just to the only thing is just to cut out the upper part I'll be using the whole part of this. I'll be using everything for the sleeve. So as you can see, the front is a little bit deeper than the back. So I will trim out the front by half an inch on this part. I'll, I'll be sewing, so I'll fold this part. I'll fold it in a way that this elastic can pass through it. I'll be fixing uh, one elastic there. Then on this part, I also fix an elastic at the middle so as you are fixing the elastic you can ensure that you you drag it so i'll fix it at the middle and also on this part so i'm done sewing the sleeve i've added my elastic and i've also placed my elastic you can make your sleeve longer than this but this is the fabric i have left so this is what i'll be using so i'll be sewing it so i'll be sewing it to the dress i'll be fixing it to the dress as you can see so before you attach your sleeve measure the ham hole so if it's not enough you can always trim out so i'll be placing it and as you can see this part is way bigger than the ham hole so when i'm sewing on this upper part i will just create a little pleat on the shoulder line on this part on the shoulder line i'll just create some pleats then i'll fix the sleeve then I'll do the same thing on the other side.